Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very much interesting and useful video for you guys. So in this video I will talk about the RescueZilla. Yes, RescueZilla is an Ubuntu based Linux distribution. It is the CloneZilla GUI. So what you can do with this RescueZilla? So you can create backup of your partitions, of your hard drives, of your operating systems and you can clone the hard drives also and also you can restore your partitions in future. If uh, suppose your partition is damaged so you can uh, restore your partitions. So this RescueZilla is very very useful and recently RescueZilla 2.4.2 has been released. It is mainly based on Ubuntu 22.04 that is the Jemmy Jellyfish and also a new release is there that is based on the Ubuntu 22.10 that is Kinetic Kudu. So in this video I will talk about all the things about the RescueZilla and uh, show you guys that how amazing it is. Many closed source proprietary uh, softwares are available uh, for doing these tasks that is there is the cloning or uh, uh, taking backup and restore but this is completely free and it is open source 100% free of course. You have to do one thing hit the like button subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon and also you can now join me and send super thanks. So without further delay let's jump into our main topic today. Okay, so first of all, I'm just showing you guys the RescueZilla homepage and you can see that and this is very, very beautiful website and all the information uh, you can uh, get here and you can see latest version is 2.4.2 and uh, you can see the release date. Okay, and uh, many things are mentioned here that what can uh, RescueZilla do and all the steps. I'm just uh, giving you a quick look. So you can see no installation needed, easy to use, in, uh, fully compatible with the CloneZilla, works with uh, VirtualBox images also, extracts files and backups, boots in seconds, and, and works with Windows, Mac and Linux, that's amazing, access your file, recover lost files, easy internet access, drive configuration tools, and uh, many languages are available. Okay. So first of all, I'm just showing you guys that uh, how you can download this uh, RescueZilla. So basically, you can see that that this is the this is the download link. So click here, and you can see this is the this is the default one, and this is the default image ISO image. You can download directly from here if you if you click here, then it will uh, download directly in your browser, and you can see the size is 1.1 GB. And if you want to download uh, with some torrent client, so uh, you go to the FOSS torrent and you can see this is the FOSS torrent website and here search for RescueZilla and click here. And you can see this is the RescueZilla page. And coming to the uh, bottom and this is the Jemmy based uh, RescueZilla, you can see uh, this is based on uh, Ubuntu 22.04 LTS Jemmy Jellyfish and you can download the torrent from here and you can download via a torrent client. But uh, this is the GitHub page, this is the GitHub page of the RescueZilla and here uh, all the things are mentioned, uh, whatever uh, changes in the new edition uh, in, in 2023 and the version number is 2.4.2. So basically you can see uh, many bug fixes are there. Alright, so by scrolling you just come uh, at the bottom and here you can see many images of the RescueZilla. And the uh, newly introduced images are uh, uh, this is the Jammy edition. This is the this is based on the Ubuntu LTS, and this is based on Ubuntu Kinetic Kudu. That is Ubuntu 22.10 version. This is the latest version of Ubuntu. So basically, if you download this uh, image, so you will get the support of the latest hardware. So that is very very important thing. So you can either download the Kinetic version or the Jammy version. Both are really great. After downloading the ISO image you need to uh, write it on a USB that means you have to make a bootable pen drive uh, with this uh, RescueZilla system. So uh, for that you can use many softwares. Uh, Belena Eacher is a software that is cross, cross platform that is available in Windows, Mac and Linux. So you can use that and but also you can use uh, others such as uh, Ruffus or Ventoy. I generally prefer Ventoy. Ventoy is uh, basically uh, you can uh, use a pen drive as multi bootable okay so so multiple operating system you can just copy and paste uh, in the in the uh, pen drive and it is it, it is ready uh, for booting 
After making the bootable uh, ISO image uh, using your USB drive, you have to just uh, boot uh, your computer and press the boot key. Uh, for the for the HP laptop, it is escape button. For the uh, Lenovo, uh, Lenovo, it is I think F12 or F2. Or uh, for the Acer laptops, it is uh, F12. So you just uh, uh, press that button, and you can able to boot from the <laughs> USB drive, and you can boot the uh, RescueZilla, right? And then you can use it on that system, that computer. Now I'm showing you guys that uh, how to boot the RescueZilla live ISO. So I'm doing in the virtual box. So I have set up, and I have given a uh, 2GB of RAM. And let's start so this is the uh, this is the screen so English is the default language hit enter and start rescuezilla and if you uh, getting a, a blank screen then you should uh, go for graphical fallback mode and also you can load into RAM and other things so start rescuezilla all right so you can see this is the uh, rescuezilla and uh, you can see this these uh, these are the main tools of rescuezilla and uh, so I have to first set the resolution so right click and so this is the rescuezilla you can see this is the rescuezilla uh, live ISO and now I am showing you guys uh, a quick view of the tools uh, it has amazing tools so the first tool is rescuezilla you can uh, you can launch from here double click here or this is the menu you can see that a uh, very <laughs> little menu and uh, this is the rescuezilla okay so you can see this is the rescuezilla you can create a backup of your hard drive and restore from that backup and also you can clone a hard drive verify an image and image explorer it is in beta phase and uh, also you can do some other things uh, with this rescuezilla live iso and you can see that and uh, this create bootable usb you can create a bootable usb uh, from here from from this and this is you can see uh, file recovery undelete that is um, uh, some deleted files uh, you can recover and uh, you can see this is the test disk okay so i will uh, make a separate video on test disk and this is the g parted you know this is the partition uh, editor tool the uh, the great tool okay i have already made a video you must uh, check that and hardware listener is there to provide ha hardware information and now photograph deep uh, scan this is actually the photo rig this is a utility inside the test disk and it can recover your permanently deleted files okay photographs videos and all all that okay so i will uh, upload a video on that i have already made a video in hindi language i will make a new video in english language and and wait for that right so you can see with this rescuezilla uh, iso image you can do many things without disturbing your original system and also you can customize uh, the look and feel of it uh, since it is xfc based desktop environment so you can see some themes are there and also some uh, icons are there you can see humanity icons are there because this is ubuntu based uh, distribution so rescuezilla is the swiss army knife of system recovery definitely besides the rescuezilla uh, live uh, iso of these flavors you can also install rescuezilla in any linux operating system especially uh, debian or ubuntu based distributions you can see this is the rescuezilla deb file so just click here and download the deb package okay so very small package you can see that and uh, just go to that folder so this is you can say uh, this is the rescuezilla uh, deb uh, file so right click here and open with gdb package installer and select and you can see this is some uh, information about this and now you can install here and you can see uh, require 67 other packages to install so you can uh, see the details here you can see the detail all these uh, things will be downloaded and now click install package give the password administrative password and now you can see it is downloading all the packages and you can see in the terminal and now it is installing you can see installing dependencies and this is my pop os 22.04 operating system 
and you can see the installation has finished so very very quick installation and very very easy and now we can run rescuezilla from my pop os operating system just go to the menu and you can see this is the rescuezilla icon amazing icon and click here administrative password okay so it is showing some message and now you can see this is the rescuezilla okay uh, icons are not there but you can see uh, this is the backup restore clone verify image and image explorer now let's see how can you create a backup of your hard drive so this is the rescuezilla menu and you have to create you have to click in the backup and then you have to select the drive so uh, many uh, ex external drive or uh, some internal hard drive you can see here and also the uh, you can see the uh, usb drive you have inserted so just click the hard drive and then click next here and then select partition to save so which partition you want to take backup so by default all are selected and you can you can customize you can uh, check you can uh, check in the boxes uh, whatever you want and then click next and then you have to set the destination drive so you connect an external hard drive and uh, and then uh, you just uh, click here connect it directly to my computer uh, or you can uh, share over a network and you have to give the information here uh, to which you want to save the, um, the backup part, backup file then click next and then uh, the backup uh, will be created and the time uh, it will take it is uh, depending upon your uh, processor and and all all that and your um, uh, hard disk speed and you can see this is the uh, backup file and it, this is the directory where the backup file is uh, situated now how to uh, restore uh, restore the partition so you have to click restore and then uh, you have to select the uh, image file the backup image file you have created you can see this is a this is a windows 10 image file gpt uefi and then you have to uh, select the partition to restore so uh, check on the partitions you want to restore to their uh, initial state and you can override the partition table this will uh, completely uh, restore your partitions and also image explorer uh, is there so you can try this also it is in beta phase and you must uh, uh, you must know the uh, know the issues uh, relating to this uh, but you can also uh, try this try this image ex explorer rescuezilla uh, can work uh, with the uh, virtual machine images uh, created by virtualbox vmware hyper v or uh, qemu okay so you must try this so if the, this video is helpful for you so uh, just hit the like button subscribe the channel and also you can share uh, this uh, video to your friends now you can join my channel or send me super thanks so thanks uh, all for watching my video and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye